Hi, thank you for joining. This is a quick screencast and overview of how to participate in a live non or live Twitter chat. Uh, we at TechSoup will be hosting a series of these periodically to connect with the community, ask and answer questions, and share resources around various nonprofit technology topics. If this is your first Twitter chat or you are new to Twitter and um, you do not have a Twitter account, that will be your first step is go to twitter.com and create an account. If you have questions about Twitter itself, we have a nonprofit social media 101 wiki at npsocialmedia101.wikispaces.com that you can answer. Um, we have a lot of questions and answers and resources there. And just click on Twitter. Once you are signed in to Twitter, we recommend going to tweetchat.com. Tweetchat is a third party um, application that um, we've found easy, makes it easier to follow tweet chats. You can participate in a Twitter chat um, through Twitter itself in the search function or through your um, through, through another third party Twitter client. Just make sure that you include the hashtag. In this case, um, the hashtag that we are going to use is NPTwitter for nonprofit Twitter. Um, that tag you will have found either in an email you received or a tweet that you saw, and uh, you're going to enter that at the very top here. And oh, and before you even do that, make sure that you are signed in to Tweet Chat itself. I'm going to authorize that application. It'll take you back. And now we'll enter the hashtag. And the hashtag, again, is the specific topic that um, will keep the conversation together. Once you go here, you can share with your Twitter, with um, your Twitter community that you are joining the tweet chat. And it has an auto-populated tweet for you. Um, you can change it if you would like. Signing in now. And again, this uh, tweet chat tool, the reason that we like it is that it auto tags uh, your tweets for you. So you do not have to remember to put NP Twitter in every post. A couple tools that are useful um, on the tweet chat uh, application itself is you have a chance to um, one pause if at some point it becomes too fast you can pause it which can if this was if the tweet chat was happening right now which it is not um, this would be moving and could be moving pretty fast depending on how many people are participating um, you have a choice of the refresh speed of how quickly your window your browser is going to refresh the feed for you anywhere from five seconds to a minute we recommend keep about five seconds to 10 seconds. Tweet chats can move pretty fast and that will keep you up to speed. Again, remember you can pause it. And then the other tool that's useful here is the user control. You here, you can feature or block people. Um, the feature, you may want to feature TechSoup or Amoration or Boop. Those are our staffers um, who are heavily helping um, facilitate the chat. You can also block retweets, which you'll see how the feed changes right there, is it takes away anything that is reposted um, so that your feed is a little bit easier to follow. And just click on the X and that closes it. To respond to a tweet, you can just hit the reply. You can choose to have either reply back directly to that person or to uh, or to both of them, both people mentioned. And again, too, you can just um, you can just post in the box itself. Upcoming text soup. Monday at 9 a.m. Not um, dumb. 
and then it will take a second for it to post. Give it a second. <laughs> and there it is. And let us know it at TechSoup if you have any questions um, or um, go to, again, our wiki is NP Social Media uh, 101.wikispaces.com. We look forward to seeing you online. Thanks.